Hey everybody, me and my dad going to teach you how to make hookahs. As you can see, we already made two ourselves. And here's the supplies you're going to need. Well, the supplies that you're going to need, um, you can get a jar or a um, container jar, mayonnaise and container yeah. or whatever you get your hands on. Yeah. That's around the house. Then you're going to get yourself a water bottle. And what you want to do with this water bottle is you want to cut it. As you can see, it's already pre-cut. So. Next, you're going to need tape. So that you're going to need some tape, of course. Um, what we have here is some tops from jars. You can, As you can see, ragu, spaghetti, spaghetti sauce jars. Or, or you any can use anything for lids to make the bowl for the shisha. Um... Anything. Of course, you want to need yeah, some straws, straws, as you can see. Just as one or two. Now, this right here, I'm going to explain this and the duration of it because this is very important that you have. And I'm going to show you this is from a juice container, which came from this. So you want to pick yourself up one of these containers. Make sure you got the cup on there because that's what you want to need and that's what I got. So you want to drill a hole in the middle and on the side there. So. And that's right. everything you're going to need. So basically that's where I'm going to start at. I'm going to get straight to the point for everybody so the video not dragging. What you want to do is you want to cut the, the water bottle. How, how are we going to cut it? Um, cut it with anything. I use a knife and a pair of scissors to even it up a little bit so you cut that. So, so this part right here what you want to do is you want to have a couple holes in the top. How many holes? As many as you can get but not too much that is going into the uh, the part of the your bottom. stem because what you want to do is make sure that your straw can go on the inside like so you want to make sure that it's nice and firm and um you get it running for any trouble like you can make holes with your scissors or can you make it with a knife knife can you do it with a straw? I do. I, I did mine with a power drill, so. Will it take longer? No, it's pretty short. You see, you want it to fit snug. See that? This your bottom, this your down stem. And what you want to do is make air holes inside the cap. Just like a regular, just like a roll who could have theirs. I will show you, but that's going to be extra time. So basically, you get the picture if you got a roll. Um, well, why, well, why can't you like shove us a little bit? A little bit. Alright, hold on. So, this is everything. Alright, basically what you have here mm -hmm. is the ear holes. You got your stem. So say like that's the straw, you got your stem, and you got your holes. Same thing as I did what? with the cat. Same thing. Got the straw here. So you want to make sure this fits snug. Because you don't want it all over the place. You want <laughs> it to fit snug. So. Well, how you, you make see, you it fit your, snug? Uh, don't open the holes um, more than you need to. Um, to keep this fitted. Okay. But basically, put that in here for your damn stem, for your damn stem. Drill the holes around it. Whatever you want to get your uh, holes in there. If you don't have a drill. Can it be a big circles? Nah, you just want it. To, you want the circle to fit for the straw, then the small ones to fit for your um, yeah, your air, your air vents. All right, that's yeah, what next. you want to. Do. Your mayonnaise jar or whatever jar that you have, you just want to take the top off of it, put it on the side. Take this part of your water bottle. You just want to put it in there. 
This is where the tape come in at. So where tape. where are you taping it? What you want to do is you want to tape <coughs> right here so it's connecting. So you put your tape around, around the circle. Around the circle, correct. And what you want to do when you get to this point is you want to get this little cup, this little juice cup that I was talking about, and draw your holes. One in the middle, one on the side. And I'm going to show you how it goes. But this one, what you want to do is you want to put it in here. Not too much, but just a little bit. It's supposed to be a big circle or a little? Um, enough space for your hogging on because, like I said, you want it to fit snug. And what you want to do is you want to drill your hole, or if you can get a hole with a knife, pair of scissors, whatever you want to use for, put a hole right there to match it with this. So, yes, so go down there, everything will be perfect. Messy. So, I'm going to show you how to do that. Messy. Basically, what you do is you want to put this little thing in here, like so. And I'm going to put this through your hole. Are we supposed to tape it or no? No, you don't need to tape this. That's why I, fit, that's why I say everything I fit snugly. Half the fit snug. Put it in there like so. Not all the way in. But just so like this. So kind of look like an L. It look like this. An L. Correct. Now, what you want to do. Do you have to cut the straw? Yeah, it's up to you. You want to cut it or not. But what you want to do to keep this in place, because you need that in place so you can, you can breathe a little better when you, um, when you inhale. Mm -hmm. So how you do that is, you can take some, uh, what you can do is you can take some crazy glue. To, or to, what I use, to glue it. Yeah, or what I use is. I use some Gorilla Glue. Why we use Gorilla Glue? Because like I said, you got to keep that mounted down there just like that. Keep it mounted down there. Yeah. So if it stick, everything is good. So I'm going to show you. Basically, everything, how I'm showing you is self-explanatory. All you got to do is just watch the video a couple times. To know how to make one. To understand it more. You can follow. And to do your thing. What I do if I come to a stuck part. Come to a stuck. Do one thing at a time first. Will it take extra long? Uh, it's a project. Of course, it's gonna take long. But it's fun making. It's fun. <laughs> so I really don't mind. So what you want to do? Like usually, this would fit right in there, but. What happen if it doesn't go in there? Oh well, that's why you gotta make sure you get everything, get everything that you need. Get in there. So you made two holes in the bottle and. Nah, you made one hole there, one hole in the middle. Oh. Like so. You don't want this all the way down. You want this to come out just like this, like I showed you the first time. So now you got something like this. And when, it's, when you're super glue or you whatever tape. it is, no, can you can't use tape. tape. You glue, glue is only. Mm -hmm. So when it's mounted, it's going to melt like this. It's going to stick. The glue going to stick. Everything. So what you want to do is you want to get your other straw. How many straws do we need? I'm uh, using three. And that's going to be a down stem straw. What's the three sticks for? The straws. This right here is going to be this is going to be your up stem for your bowl for it to finish your hookah off so you can smoke it, of course. So what you want to do? Man, you got something that look like this. All right. Look like a Y. Something look like that. Man. <laughs> What you want to do? Because this is long, I don't want to cut this because it's for the other ones. But you gotta cut it to make sure it can go inside like that. 
So just imagine the bottom stem is going down to the bowl. Yeah. Basically, it'll look like this but with the straw at the bottom. Then what you want to do is take the other side of your soda container, water bottle, whatever it is that you want to use, and you want to drill a hole in the middle of it, straight through the middle. Little or big? Um, just enough to fill up the straw go through snugly again, once again. So uh, like a measure? What you want to do? What you want to take that to go your frame. Yeah, you can make your frame however you want to. I'm just showing you little basic techniques of how I'm doing it. And what you want to do is, you want to take your tape once again and tape it around so the air can trap on the inside, not the outside. But for the smoke. Here. Precisely. Now, you might you might have to. Well, you know you might have to, but you want to cut that part down so that it has something like this. Your bowl. You gotta put a hole in here right in the middle just like I did here on this one so that your top stem the sheets you can flow through the as you put the chart the, the mix Choco. everything everything is going gonna, is gonna to flow correctly so make a hole in here your jar or your cat whatever it is that you want to use for your bowl to put your shisha in and your charcoal on top, but um, cut that, draw your hole, put that on the side, make sure it's snugly, so you have something that look like this. Put some water in the bottom, juice, whatever you prefer. Well, juice tastes good for the hookah. A little. Mm -hmm. uh, I usually put ice. Water and ice in it at the bottom. Is but, that um, nasty? No, nah, it's pretty good. So you'll get something like this. Put your sheesh in, your foil, your, your coal, light it up, set it on top, and you're good to go. And that's how you do it. So I'm going to show you one more time. And so I'm going to take this off. And this is how you remove it. No, I'm just showing you, you can remove it like that, but I'm just showing you step by step again. Just doing the backwards. Up stem. Take that off. So basically, that's what you need. Three straws, one of these from this thing right here. Make sure when you get one of these containers, they got the cup because you're going to need that. Drill a hole here on the sides. Doesn't matter where. But side, side. What do you mean? A hole right here. So it matches. See so that? So it matches up. You want to cut your bottom. See? How how we going to know it's equal size? So how we going to Oh, you know what else? All you got to do is just tape it. You want to trap the air in it. Mm. Basically. See? Right. See it. Okay. Yeah. 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 Yeah is go back through the video as many times as you want to, to to understand and get the whole idea you can actually follow me but basically you got the mayonnaise container what that container you got 
You got your soda container, your water bottle, whatever. Cut that off. Drill a hole. Right here. Hole for your, um, your down stem. Couple holes for your air vents. Now, this part right here, as you can see, got a hole in it. Right here, that's for your straw, that's for your top stem. And uh, make sure you tape everything and glue up everything correctly, and there you go. So, so that's all. Yep, that's all. So that's how I'm gonna wrap this up. It's the outro. If it's a hassle, you can always get something to open that hole up a little, a little more. But. Just show you the basics. Just showing us how to do it again. Yeah, I'm just showing. Yeah, I can't help but realize that you didn't mention your beautiful wife, Alex. I was just getting to it. Alexandra, she also shares in my happiness. So life is pretty good for you, huh? finish with the body and everything that's how you go to look at if you are okay. things will be nice and it works yum yum <laughs> Of course, I got the Parmesan cheese container as the body, and it works. And that's it. Bye.